I am America's maritime guardian. That's the first line of the Coast Guard's guardian ethos. We're assembled here today to remember someone who lived that ethos. Today we honor Petty Officer Nate Bruckenthal, a true Coast Guard hero. His willingness to put himself in harm's way to protect others is a clear demonstration of living the guardian ethos. That call to duty sometimes requires the ultimate sacrifice. The events of five years ago that we commemorate today resulted in the loss of Petty Officer Bruckenthal and two U.S. Navy Petty Officers. But we can take some measure of comfort in knowing that Nate and his shipmates were embodying the very best qualities of the American servicemen. They were true guardians that day. They were the shield that protected others. We should never forget the sacrifice that others have made in defense of our freedom. Honoring a fallen comrade is one of the ways that we remember. Even though he is no longer with us, DC-3 Nate Bruckenthal will always be a member of the Coast Guard family. I offer my most sincere sympathies to the Bruckenthal family, to those here today, Chief Bruckenthal and his wife Patty, and to those who share their deep sense of loss. Nate's mother Lori, Nate's widow Patty and daughter Harper, friends, family, and shipmates. In closing this morning, I want to share with you the entire Guardian ethos. I think it epitomizes Petty Officer Bruckenthal's service to his country. I'm America's maritime guardian. I serve the citizens of the United States. I will protect them. I will defend them. I will save them. I am their shield. For them, I am Semper Paratus. I live the Coast Guard's core values. I am a guardian. We are the United States Coast Guard.